morning everyone i am Gillian today i'm going to tell a story about buggy dogs and the three bears one day little girl playing buggy dogs was playing near the forest she saw a pretty little house what a lovely house i wonder who lives here she decided to sit in blocks peep peep in through the window anybody there she asked no one answered. Nobody answered again. No one sits at home. She said, The room had toys and books. Goldilocks was curious to see more. The main door was not locked. Goldilocks went inside. He saw, saw a dining table with food. Hmm. Three bowls of porridge. Buddy Ox was hungry. She test I I don't think they will mind if I eat a little. She thought. The Ox test the biggest bowl of porridge first. It was too hot. Then she test the second bowl. It was too cold. But when she test the third, the smallest bowl, the porridge is just right. Goldilocks ate it all up. Mm -hmm. Birdie looks and tired. She sat on a large chair. But it was too hard and too uncomfortable. She sat on a medium sized chair. It was hot, it was too soft and too comfortable. Then she she, said, she then saw a small chair and thought, This chair looks just perfect to me. For me. And sat on it. Crack! The little chair broke. It was too delicate. Buddy Ox went out. Was very sleepy. She went up. So he went to upstairs into the bed bedroom to rest. There were three beds. So she chose the most comfortable. Swallows bed to sleep on. Today, this house belongs to Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear, who had gone out. When they came back, they were surprised. Someone has their porridge and broken Baby Bear chair. Someone has been in our house. Wally a bear, said Papa Bear. Let us look upstairs too, said Mama Bear. Someone has, has sat on my bed, said Papa Bear and Mama Bear. Somebody is still sleeping in on my bed, said Baby Bear. Mm -hmm. Baby Bear cried out. They, uh, they saw Goldilocks asleep in Baby Bear's bed. Just then, Goldilocks woke up and saw three bears. He was frightened. She jumped out in the after bed and ran. Where? Away until he met she, she reached her home. Yes, she she promised herself never to enter anyone's house until her death. Moral of this story is not enter anyone's house until her death.